What's evident on my journey so far is that while there's still lots of critical information to learn about COVID-19, what we have learned is already improving lives. Now, I'm on an eight hour train ride. I've just left Milan and I'm heading to my hometown, Paris, to continue the discussion with the industry experts and tackling the questions, what have we learned and what can we do better? Like many places around the world, Paris is slowly starting to open back up, albeit slowly. This is the Louvre, for example, and typically this area is absolutely packed with people. And while isolations and lockdowns have definitely helped slow the spread of COVID-19, there have been consequences. One of those consequences is delayed cancer screenings. And in France alone, that's meant tens of thousands of women have postponed their mammograms and potentially thousands of missed breast cancer diagnoses. Before COVID-19, data revealed that one in four women were already avoiding mammograms because of the associated discomfort and anxiety, which is an issue that needs resolving because early detection means increased survival rates of breast cancer. This is the Gustave Roussy Cancer Campus just to the south of Paris. And over there, Dr. Karim Balligier, who I'm about to go and see, leads a breast screening clinic that has redesigned the breast diagnosis experience with the aim of reducing anxiety and discomfort. Add on top COVID-19, and Dr. Corrine has a work cut out. Dr. Corrine, hello. <laughs> hello, Michael. How are you? Let's do a little toe tap. <laughs> Check. Nice to see you. Firstly, what are some of the issues that make women reticent in coming to actually get a breast screening, even before COVID ever arrived? So, um, for the attendance for screening is first the fear to have cancer. And also they are anxious that the mammography could be painful. How did COVID-19 affect the screenings that you were doing? So the screenings for when the woman had no uh, symptoms, usually the screenings are delayed. But it's not a problem. Usually if you don't have any symptoms and if you are not at, at risk, the screening could be delayed for three to six months. But the, the thing is that if a woman feels something, a lump in the breast, so in this case, that's very important to come to the clinics to make an appointment and to see what's going on in mammogram, ultrasound, etc. And some women were waiting even for the COVID-19, even with a palpable mass. And that is now a problem that we have to make uh, uh, appointments and ex examinations in an urgent matters for these women. So now you have a backlog, four to six months of, of women that do need screening. How are you dealing with that at the clinic? So now we are calling back the women to come for their appointments uh, since uh, we, we started again. So we started uh, since the uh, 4th of May. But the difficulty is that it's quite slow. The woman doesn't come so fast now. It is a very safely matter. Your clinic is very unique in terms of being able to turn the diagnosis around, isn't it? I think we were one of the first to implement this, uh, this clinic. So since 15 years now, uh, we made a one-stop clinic. And so everything could be done in one day. And that's very important. So the oncologist is beside the surgeon, beside the radiologist and working with the pathologist all day and the woman could come with uh, symptoms or with an uh, abnormal mammogram uh, at screening. Everything in one day, so double reading, uh, additional mammograms, tomosynthesis, contrast mammography, ultrasound, even all types of biopsy and fine needle respiration. And the idea is at the end of the day to have a diagnosis and uh, to inform the woman of the going on process, uh, to plan a surgery if necessary or follow up, and uh, to reduce anxiety and to make a more multidisciplinary uh, assessment very fast and for a better uh, staging for the woman immediately. So how do you choose which mm -hmm. women qualify for the clinic and which ones don't? Mm -hmm. So the women are referred by a physical, uh, physical practitioner, family doctor, usually after an abnormal mammogram. So mammogram should be abnormal. So by rad three, four or five. Sometimes it's uh, because of a palpable mass or symptoms, say nipple discharge or um, 
skin reflection, so uh, clinical symptoms. So the patients could be refer herself or usually with a, with a family doctor or a gynecologist. A lot of women don't come and get a screening because they find it a very uncomfortable process, but you've been adapting the experience through a remote control, yes. haven't you? So we give this, the remote, to the patient and we explain that um, the more we compress, the more the image is... Uh, yeah, it's a more accurate. So, yes. the, so the harder the compression, Yes. The better the actual image will be, and, and the, the more the better prospect of a hmm? of an accurate diagnosis. With less uh, radiation dose, also, so that's very important to have the always the best image quality with a lower dose. And what have you learned from giving the woman the power to be able to compress herself versus the technician compressing? What have you actually learned from that? Uh, they have less anxiety because they know that they have the control and sometimes they are, their fear is that we go too, too much, uh, we compress too much or too quickly and it's very progressive so it's, it's softer so actually they compress more at the result. So this is a contrast mammography. The contrast mammography it's a uh, it's a new examination technique which is developed with digital mammography and uh, which looks like an MRI. For example, this breast is quite difficult to interpret because there are dense tissue and so we don't see uh, many things. But if I scroll, this is a low energy view and if I scroll with a recombined view, all the normal tissues is suppressed and you see this uh, very suspicious uptake which remaining which is a cancer and uh, if I come back to the low energy view you can see that it's a little bit denser but quite difficult to, to see if I do the same with the left breast and I scroll and there is absolutely nothing so this is a normal breast and this is a breast with a cancer and it's extremely easy to read Dr. Baguille, thank you for giving me uh, some precious time today. I know you're very busy. Appreciate okay. it. Thank you very much.